again to my new YouTube channel. First of all, before starting, I would like to thank all those who shared, all those who liked, and all those who subscribed to my channel. I would like to say thanks a lot, and this, I mean, you know, gives me more willingness to work harder and harder. Thank you so much for liking my idea, and thank you so much for all your support. Today, as I told you last time, I've got two main idioms to teach. And then I will move on to the demonstrating part. Now, without much ado, okay, I want it to be all ears because I'm gonna present idiom number one. So, idiom number one. Oh my god, where is it? Idiom number one. Oh yeah, I forgot, it's here. So, idiom number one. Be on the rocks. To be on the rocks. If a marriage or a business is on the rocks, it means it is experiencing serious and severe problems and it is likely to end or fail. Example, his marriage is on the rocks. It means he doesn't get along with his wife anymore. It means that there are many problems, okay, you know, within the relationship. If I say my, my business is on the rocks, it means that my business is not doing well. It means that my business is about to collapse or to fail. Idiom number two. Uh, again, idiom number two. Oh, where is it? Idiom number two. Okay, it's here. So, idiom number two is love rat. And what is the meaning of a love rat? A love rat is someone, and especially a man, and I'm sorry man, okay, especially a man who betrays his wife. A married man who has got another partner and he goes with someone else. So, if I say example, a Jack is a love rat. It means a Jack has got a wife and a nice wife, but unfortunately he goes and he spends time with another one. He's got an affair with another one. So this is the meaning of a love rat. Now, I have, you know, finished talking about idioms and, of course, I know that you are waiting on tender hooks for part number two, which is demonstrating. I and mean, I know that you are asking many questions now. What about the wife? What about Furiel? And what about Slim? What about the kid? What will happen or what is going to happen, okay, you know, in the story? Will the husband love, I mean, his wife again? Will he stay with her at home or there are still problems, okay, to persist. Will the storm end or will the storm persist? So, I would like you now to discover this. So, let's move to part number two. Bye! Beer shaved off. And now you're spraying yourself with perfume. Where to? Again? Stop asking any questions, please. I'm not at the police station, I guess. What about the dinner? Dinner? I'm full. And I'm late. My friend Salem is waiting. Oh. I've got to go now. Salem. Bye. She's become unbearable. We are always fighting and I don't know what to do. We never agree on anything. She's not the one who deserves you. Look at my eyes. Look at my hair. Look at my nails. Adele? No, no. Kitty Perry? Oh, no. Christina Aguilera? Shakira, Christina Aguilera, Monira, you are the one who will fill my life with happiness and joy. Sugar, honey, sweetheart, sweetie, 
Darling. Please don't be overspending. For real? What the hell? Video. What are you waiting for? Subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye!